Welcome to Healthy Habits. We are so glad you found us. Here at Healthy Habits, we are dedicated to helping you live your healthiest and happiest life. Our channel is all about sharing practical tips and advice for improving your nutrition, staying active, and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Whether you're looking to lose weight, boost your energy levels, or just feel better overall, we've got you covered. Our team of experts will provide you with the latest research and recommendations for living a healthier life. So join us on this journey to better health and wellness. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all of our latest videos. We can't wait to share our healthy habits with you. The first signs of kidney disease. The kidneys are a pair of organs located in the back of the abdominal cavity, near the bottom of the rib cage. They have several important functions in the human body, including filtering waste products from the blood. They filter waste products and excess fluid from the blood, which are then eliminated from the body as urine. Regulating electrolyte balance. They help to regulate the levels of electrolytes in the blood, such as potassium, sodium, and calcium. Regulating blood pressure. They produce hormones that help to regulate blood pressure. Stimulating red blood cell production. They produce a hormone called erythropoietin that stimulates the bone marrow to produce red blood cells. Maintaining bone health. They produce a hormone called calcitriol that helps to regulate the metabolism of calcium and phosphorus, which is important for maintaining healthy bones. Please note this video is for educational purposes only. If you have any health concerns please talk to your doctor. Each kidney contains about 1 million nephrons. They filter the blood, reabsorb useful substances, and excrete waste products and excess fluids in the form of urine. Nephrons also play a role in regulating blood pressure, maintaining electrolyte balance and controlling red blood cell production via the production of erythropoietin hormone. When you start developing kidney disease the amount of nephrons starts to decrease to the point where you might end up with half of your nephrons. Also nephrons reduces you age. With the decreased ability to filter out things, one underlying most common cause of kidney disease and also end-stage renal failure is diabetic nephropathy. It is caused by damage to the blood vessels in the kidneys as a result of diabetes. The high blood sugar levels that are characteristic of diabetes can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys, which can lead to a loss of function over time. When you have high levels of glucose in the blood, as seen in diabetes, they bind to the proteins in the kidneys. This causes damage to the kidneys filtering units, and leads to a decline in kidney function. This reaction is known as glycation. This process can lead to the formation of advanced glycation end products, ages. When you have a lot of these you have a combination of nephrons that are all gunked. Up with protein that is stuck in there and they can't work properly. This is why they diagnose kidney disease by testing the amount of protein in your urine. Protein in the urine means the filtering units in the kidneys are damaged leading to protein loss in the urine and low protein levels in the blood. The main symptom for this is swelling, particularly in the legs, ankles, and around the eyes popularly known as edema. In the early stages of diabetic nephropathy, there may be no symptoms or only mild symptoms. One early symptom of kidney disease is nocturia. It is a medical condition characterized by the need to wake up during the night to urinate. Usually it is considered normal to wake up once during the night to urinate. But if someone wakes up more than twice during the night to urinate, it is considered nocturia. This makes a lot of sense because the majority of diabetics also have that same symptom and kidney problems go hand in hand with diabetes. Diabetes affects four tissues and one of them is the kidney. The other three are the nervous system, the eye and the arteries. With kidney disease due to the poor filtering mechanism we are going to experience a lot of backup with toxins and loss of nutrients. There's several things you can do to turn this around. The first thing we need to do is to reduce the amount of sugar in your bloodstream. This can be achieved by going on a ketogenic diet or intermittent fasting because this helps control your insulin levels. You can click on the link in the description box below to watch our video on intermittent fasting. Another important thing is increasing your intake of phytonutrients. These are naturally occurring compounds found in plants. The flavonoids found in fruits and vegetables have been shown to have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, which can help to protect against kidney disease. Similarly, compounds like anthocyanins found in berries, may also help to reduce inflammation, and improve insulin sensitivity, which can help to prevent the development of diabetes. Most plant foods also have magnesium, vitamin C and potassium which are also very important for kidney health. Another remedy that you can get is benfotiamine. 
It is a synthetic form of vitamin B1, thiamine, that has been modified to increase its bioavailability and effectiveness in the body. It is a fat-soluble form of vitamin B1, which means it can be more easily absorbed by the body and can penetrate cell membranes more effectively than water-soluble forms of the vitamin. Benfotiamine has been found to have a number of health benefits, particularly in the management of diabetic complications. It has been shown to improve blood sugar control, reduce inflammation, and protect against the formation of advanced glycation end products, AGEs, which are harmful molecules that can form as a result of high blood sugar. You can also take lipoic acid, alpha lipoic acid. It is a naturally occurring antioxidant that is found in small amounts in certain foods, such as spinach, broccoli, and yeast. It is also available as a dietary supplement. It is a versatile antioxidant that can neutralize a wide range of harmful molecules and neutralize both water and fat-soluble free radicals, which makes it unique among antioxidants. It has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity, reduce blood sugar levels, and protect against the formation of advanced glycation end products, ages. Preventive measures such as maintaining a healthy diet and lifestyle, controlling blood sugar and blood pressure, avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol consumption, can help to reduce the risk of kidney disease. Regular checkups with a healthcare professional can also help to identify and manage kidney disease in its early stages. Thank you for watching this video on healthy habits. We hope you found the information helpful and are motivated to make positive changes in your own health and wellness journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. We post new content every week, so there's always something new and exciting to learn. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from our viewers and always do our best to respond to your comments. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.